You must have seen similar to this infinite diagram in several occasions which depicts continual process integration of development and operations. You may also be familiar with similar diagram where you get tons of open source or closed source tools offerings for each of its stages. Still for vast majority of organizations, identifying the DevOps process for automation improvement, selecting the right tools for that process and most importantly building the team with the right skill sets is still a challenge. In this video, we will learn how you can start seamless DevOps practices and build a skilled DevOps team for DevOps implementation in your organization to achieve single objective of DevOps continuous delivery if you are a DevOps startup. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Amar Kumar. We will focus on these three key components. Understand DevOps roadmap and build DevOps team with clear segregation of roles and responsibilities. Infrastructural readiness of hardware and software. We'll talk about successful DevOps implementation secrets. Let's get started. Before we talk about DevOps roadmap, let me quickly brief you about DevOps continual processes. To embrace DevOps in your organization, it is imperative to understand its processes and how it can build collaborative culture by emphasizing on automation resulting faster and more frequent releases through its continuous delivery model. Continuous delivery is the collaboration of continuous development, continuous testing, continuous deployment and continuous monitoring processes. If you are new to my channel, I will request you to watch my previous video on what is DevOps and how DevOps can accelerate the software delivery. I have explained about continuous delivery processes. Now let's understand what skills are required to build a successful DevOps team through this very well elaborated DevOps roadmap diagram. I am referring this DevOps roadmap diagram from roadmap.sh website. You can find the URL of this page in my description box below. DevOps team should have clear understanding of one or more programming language as per your technology needs like Java, Python, Go, Ruby, C, C++ and all. It doesn't matter which language you use. Important is to get programming knowledge for automation. As you know, automation is the backbone of DevOps philosophy. DevOps team should build understanding of operating system concepts like process management, IO management, file systems, virtualizations, networking concepts, memory and storage management. Team must be aware about one or more operating systems like Linux, Windows or Unix and their variants. Linux operating system variants like Suzy Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Unix variants are like Unix variants are like FreeBSD, OpenBSD and NetBSD. Objective is to learn about managing servers. Team should also learn to run commands on terminals like shell scripting, text manipulation tools like AWK, SED, Grape, Sort, etc. Text editors like Emacs, VIM, PowerShell and all. Processes monitoring like PS, TOP, ISOF and all. How to compile apps from sources like Make, GCC and other tools. System performance tools like VMstat, IOStat and Mon, etc. Should also know terminal multiplexes like Screen, Tmux. Team should know about the networking, security and protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, TLS, SSH, FTP, SMTP, IMAPS and all. Team should know what is and how to set up web server like Apache, Nginx, Tomcat, IS and all. How to set up reverse proxy, load balancers, firewall etc. are must. Infrastructure as a code in DevOps has been playing a vital role in doing faster and continuous deployment and for this team should develop skills in container-based deployment tools like Docker, RKT, Alexis and all. Configuration management and auto-deployment tools like Ansible, Shape, Puppet, Salts are must. Container orchestration tools like Kubernetes, Docker, Swarm, Mesos, Nomad etc. has to be learned by the team. Infrastructure provisioning, Terraform, cloud formations are required. Nowadays, every application uses microservices. And for managing, microservices team should be having good understanding about service mesh architecture like ISTO, Envoy, Link, Linkerd, Console, etc. Knowledge of any DevOps CI CD orchestration tool is a must. So, team should learn at least one CI CD tool like Jenkins, Team City, Travis CI, Circle CI, etc. Now, let's talk about continuous monitoring and operation where we can learn to use infrastructure monitoring tools like Nagios, Zabbix, Centrion, Prometheus, and R. For application monitoring, 
team should learn how to implement AppDynamics, New Relic, Jagger, Istana, Open Tracing in a project. For log management, we can use variety of tools like Elastic Stack, Graylog, Splunk, Paper Trail, and all. Cloud computing plays a vital role in DevOps roadmap nowadays. Teams should build knowledge base about managing applications on cloud like AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, Heroku, and all. And should also be familiar with cloud design patterns like availability, data management, design, and implementation, etc. Let me quickly add about continuous testing process, which is somehow not included in this diagram, but plays a vital role in DevOps automation process. Teams should be well versed with functional and non-functional test automation. For functional test automation, you can use Selenium, UFT, Silk Test, Auto IT, SOAP UI, and all. Non-functional testing such as performance, load, reliability, usability, you can use tools like JMeter, HP Load Runner, HP LM, and all. As you know, DevOps is a continual improvement process. Therefore, continuous learning is very much important throughout the DevOps journey. Let's now understand the successful DevOps implementation secrets. It is important that you need to start with small and step-by-step -step approach since it's not recommended to change everything at once. It is important to get buy-in from all the individual stakeholders at your organization before you plan for implementation. Identify the right roles and responsibilities in the so-called DevOps team and make them accountable. Role could be like DevOps evangelist, automation architect, developer, tester, release engineer, and so on. Move security to the shift left to detect security threats at early stage and to get faster compliance feedback. Don't be afraid to fail. It is not likely that you are going to do everything right the first time you try. Things may go wrong, so learn from the experience, then adapt and change. Proactive monitoring and reporting to all the stakeholders will bring confidence and trust within team. That's all for now. Hope this helps you to plan, execute, and manage successful DevOps implementation at your organization. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And hit the bell icon to get latest update about my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching my videos. See you until next time.